Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos and I'm here at the Acropolis. And so I'm gonna take you inside and show you around. And uh, it's a big uh, site and there's lots of little sites to see um, inside the Acropolis. But I'm gonna show you a map right now and show you what those items are. And then I'll probably break this up so it's not a five hour video. So it'll be like, you know, maybe 10 or 12 little videos. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. It's a big place. Thanks everybody, bye bye. All right, everybody. So this is the Acropolis. The Acropolis is like a, imagine it's like a huge compound. Um, and inside this compound, there's all sorts of different sites. So they, they break it down to, let me get the English one, 12 or 21 different sites. So the sheds, the, all these different things, right? And so when you look at it, I'm here and I'm entering this way. So there's this one that's number one and then a four or five, a six. And then, you know, I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. And so there are lots and lots of things to see. Obviously, um, the Parthenon is the big one on top. Um, another one is the theater, which is amazing. Um, but it's all really amazing. And so they even break it up by, you know, like the gate, the Pompeia gate and the blue gate. And, you know, so anyway, I'm going to, I guess, do the best I can to cover as much of this as I possibly can. Um, can, I, can I make a, a surprising revelation? I even went through, <laughs> I know. This is a unique one for Eric. I made a map, <laughs> my own little map, and I broke it down by each little site. And I was gonna do, how many videos? I have 14 separate videos. Is it gonna work? I, I tend to doubt it, but, uh, but I'll do the best I can. Um, and I guess I'll start by letting you read some of this. So let me get close and you just pause and you can read it as you go. And that's really it. So I was trying to capture all of it in one screen, but I don't think that's going to work. Well, maybe. Um, pause as you need to, everybody. Okay, I'm going to move on. Let's see what we can do about uh, hitting these sites. Bye, everybody. All right. Core Egypt, is that right? Core Egypt Monument, I think. I think that's right, but it's pretty pretty neat all the same and I guess it's a cave and I I don't know if you can go in it. I don't know if that's the cave of St. Mary's but I'll show you the the information placard and you'll you'll see what I'm getting at this is the downside of the Acropolis so the Acropolis is up on top um, it's pretty neat all right let's go look at this documentation sorry about the wind it's windy over here too so I'll cover my mic and hope it works Here's what it used to look like. What's it say about it? Okay. Statue of Dionysus was uprooted and removed from the middle of the pedestal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Maybe what it looked like back in the 18th century. And that's it up there. Come on, little camera, focus. I think as it gets filled up and warmed up, it, <laughs> it starts being stubborn. Corregic Monument of Thralios. Thralios. Okay. <sighs> that's it, everybody. Bye bye. Okay, so here's where we're starting. On this list, there's a map. You see the map? And there's a list down there. You can see all the items. And I'm just gonna go through them. And so number 20 on the list is this, Sanctuary of Dionysus Eleutherius. And here it is. And it's, they even break it down, um, which is crazy, I had an ant on me, um, to like six different things, plus the, the theater. Here's what it says about it, and you can pause. I'll try to get my camera out of the sun. <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna go do. Okay, and it's right here. And so it looks like to me that, I mean, so this is the ruins to part of it. 
but the main part of this one, um, when everybody comes here, is the the theater. So there's two theaters in the Acropolis. There's this one and the Odeon. Um, and we're gonna go to this one. And so you can see all the ruins that they had marked on their, their map here. And it's a hot day, hot and sweaty. Theater of Dionysus. Um, and they have things to read too, so that's a plus. <laughs> Theater of Dionysus. So these are the retaining walls. And this is what it used to look like back in the day. Pretty amazing. Um, can you read that? I guess we'll do it one at a time. So you can pause and then pause again. Let's do it. And it's a little windy, so there might be some wind noise, but uh, you know, I don't know if covering the mic helps at all or not. like if at the time and uh, who's this guy reconstruction of statue of meander and that's this guy restored view of honorary monument let's just go over here and look oh and it looks like they're restoring it you can see the new concrete versus the old concrete Your paws. Okay, so this is the theater of Dionysus Eleutherius. And so there used to be a big wall here, too. They always had a wall. I'm going to zoom out so you get a better picture of what we're looking at here. Pretty amazing, huh? And that white thing up there is the cave. And you can see how big this thing used to be. So let me zoom back to normal one. So see right here, this little walkway right there, the steps? So that's how high this thing used to go. It used to go way up to the top of that. So it was enormous. I wonder if it tells you how many people it held. I wonder if this one tells you anything. Um, oh, it even went farther than that. So it went all the way up to the cave. So you can see this part right here. And then you can see it went past that all the way up to here too. That's pretty amazing. Um, here's more information on it. Let's see. So this is 338, 324 BC. Um, and I don't see anything that tells us how many people it held. This is what it looks like now, or when they found it, I guess. Amazing. Let me ask this lady. How many people did it hold at its regular uh, 16 time? 16 to 17,000. It's all the way up. To the cave. Yes, to the cave. So 16 or 17,000 people. <laughs> wow, okay. And those little steps right there, that's where it used to go past that even too. Okay. Outstanding. Okay, thank you so much. All right, everybody. I give you some information on this. Amazing. And the view is amazing. 
Okay. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. Bye-bye, everybody. Actually, before I move on, I wanted to add this part. This are like the ruins behind it, you know? I don't know if this were buildings or houses or what, but this is what it looked like. Okay. Here's information on it for it. Trade your places. Yeah, it's hard. There's a lot to see, huh? Very cool. All right, moving on. Bye. So how do you say that? Stoa of Uminus? 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 Okay, so this is what it used to look like, and it's this huge, I can't, I'll try to get my shadow out of there, that huge long building. Um, and so it ran right here. So it was between this theater over on this side and this theater over here, the Odeon and the other one. And here's what it says about it. And you can see where it says it's 163 meters long or wide and 17.65 meters wide. And so here's what it used to look like in its day too, from a three dimensional standpoint. So it was a huge wall and then just pillars up and down to two stories. And I think this is what's left right now. Just these arches and that's over here. Let's go take a look at it. And this is number 18. <laughs> so those are those arches. So you have to imagine that this would be the back side of it. So the thing came all the way out to here. So there'd be pillars here. You can even see some of the remains of the pillars over there. See them? Um, and there's some here too. 64 Doric columns. So there's 64 of those things. Going this whole way, all the way over to that other side of that building way over there. This would be the back side. There would be another roof on top of that. Um, and it would be enormous. I mean, so that's that's a long way. Can you imagine a building that long out of stone? Columns all the, all the way. One column, two columns. You can see all the way down. Pretty amazing. And again, you know, can you imagine even closely what this would look like if it was still in pristine shape today? You know, I wonder too, if they were to really focus their energy um, for like one year and get like a thousand guys, could they could they redo it then? Could they redo the Parthenon or redo this building or, you know, even the Roman Colosseum? I don't know. Would it be worth it? I bet everybody and their brother would come and see it. Anyway, this is the Stoa of Amuninus. <laughs> okay. Um... That's it. Let's go on. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is the Sanctuary of Asclepion. Here's information about it. As always, <laughs> pause as you need to. But I think what's amazing about this is this is what it used to look like this huge thing this is what we hit, see today so that's this part right here and imagine that i mean compared to a man what that would look like i mean it's just enormous can you imagine this back in the day yeah crazy very amazing and so here's a, a, a nice picture. So this is that theater we just saw, that huge thing that went all the way up. And then here's what Asclepion looks like. That's pretty amazing too. That's really a good picture because then I'm going to go over to this theater too. So, and then this is what the, this whole thing is the Acropolis. This is the Parthenon on top. Okay, let's look at some of this stuff. I'm going to zoom out so you can see. And there's just ruins everywhere. And you can 
you see how big that wall is up there too. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Can you imagine if they could put all this back together? Temple of Asclepion. I mean, that's how big the pillars are. Huh. Okay. Very cool. Oh, and so this is like the back wall to it. And it probably, you know, I guess it's like multiple deep, right? So, because there's another pillar, that little one up there, you see that one? Um, so it probably was a, a fairly huge structure. Very cool. All right, everybody, let's move on. Bye-bye. Okay, everybody, these are the bronze foundries. Um, there were pits here, and they used to make the antiquities here. Um, and I think that some of them had stairs into them and everything else. But it's this big pit here. Um, and then here's the information on it. And so here, the base of the bronze foundry is 2006. And it tells you here, I'll just let you read it. If I cannot make the camera move. I'm right in the middle of the sun, so it's hard to tell. I can't really see the screen. The reflection is tough. But, uh, okay. And this is what that area looked like here. So I think this is where I'm at. And then there's this pit over here. Oh, this is the pit over there. And that's this 10 thing here. And then number, this one, is this thing. It's all uh, a covered pit, which is kind of cool. Um, I'll let you read this placard, the rest of it. Here's kind of a dig out and what it looked like, which is kind of cool. This is the pit. I guess you can't walk on it. Um, Can you see through there? It's really hard to see through there. It looks like it needs to be cleaned and stuff. Yeah, it goes way down there. And there are stairs here. So I guess they used to make the, the antiquities in here. They'd hate for this to fill up with water, huh? <laughs> for somebody to fall in too, I guess. It's really hard to see. But anyway, it was on the, the list and it had a placard, so you're getting it. <laughs> Thanks everybody, bye-bye. And this one's been restored. You can see the seats are really nice. Um, and you can see they're putting lights down there because um, they do shows here. See the lights are gonna hang and they'll do acting shows and concerts and those kind of things. Let me zoom out a little bit more and you can get a better picture. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. All right, there's nobody over at the information thing. Let me go over there and get that and I'll come back to this. There's lots of people here in <laughs> Athens and the Acropolis, but I guess that's to be expected, huh? So let's see what this one says. So here is what it used to look like. This is that first one we saw, which that one's called? Oh, the Theater of Dionysus. This is this one. So it used to be roofed. Um, you can see it here. Let's see what it says. It says, the Odeon of Herez, 160 AD was donated by Athens famous. 6,000 spectators. Huh. 35 meter long facade. Yeah, amazing. Okay. Huh. And you can see people down there sitting in the shade. And the guy's working on the... Look at the marble 
floor down there on the bottom, the checkerboard. And people would enter and exit through the doors to get out and around. And so you can see that this used to go all the way up to there. And then this would be part of the dome. I mean, way up here would be the dome all the way to where I'm standing now. I think this is one of my favorite ones, just because it's so, so amazing. Let me just see if I can get a better, closer picture without all the fluff and stuff. Oh, I'll be back. Wow. Look at all the little niches. I think those are pretty amazing, too. Probably a structure or building behind it. Wow. <laughs> this one's amazing. Yeah, this one's simply over the top. So cool. I would love to see a concert or a show here. Wouldn't that just be amazing? Yeah, and look at the view of the city back there. And the city's enormous. And it goes, and this is just half of it. <laughs> And you can see the sea way over there. Can you see the sea? Okay, everybody. This is where I'll leave you. Thanks for sharing this with me. Bye, everybody. Okay. This is the West Gate. And I think it just really forced everybody to come through there. Let's look at the placard here. So again, this is the West Gate. And this is what it looked like back in the day. Pretty amazing. And you can see the Acropolis. And this is where it was at to get in. What's it say here? The West Gate's the third century arcade decoration lintel. Oh, okay. It's pretty amazing. So this is, we've done all of this. So the Monument to Agrippa, Pala Pelia, the, whatever that lady's name, they had a statue in there. Um, but this is the, the gate. So this must have been fortified so that you could only come in that one way. Uh, but it certainly is a, a hurdle to get past. I like it from the other side. Let me look at it from the other side one more time. Pretty amazing. Let me get a little further away. Very cool. I think that's the end of the tour, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, that's the monument to Agrippa. And it's pretty big, and it's right in the entranceway 
Um, so this is, I think, number four or something, and it's the little, uh, I don't even, I won't even go into them. And this is another thing, <laughs> but this one is the Monument to Agrippa. Um, and it's pretty amazing. It's just a big square thing, and there must have been a statue on it at one time. Um, all right. Amazing. Wow. Wow. Now, let me show you something else. This is the view. <laughs> Those are the people. <laughs> Wow, okay. Well, let's go find some information on Paplia. And this is number two. And I know I'm saying it wrong, but you can see it here. Paplia? Papili? Papile? Whatever. Okay. Let's go see what we can find here. Uh, if you'd like to see, for example, how it is, it's uh, just staggeringly amazing. Wow. They gotta have information on this, don't they? <laughs> I would hope. Go ask that guy. <clears throat> you can see how big it is, too. I have a question. Where is there a is there a sheet, an information sheet on Paplia? Uh, no, it's a, a signs. You are here now. Right. But I was if looking for that little... Oh. If you go up, uh -huh. on your right hand, on the right, it's a sign to read about. About this one. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Grazie. Left or right? Right. Left or right. Okay. I don't know. I thought I looked up here, but we'll go look again. Oh, I see a sign, but I don't know that that's probably... Yeah. Oh, I do. Thank you. Gotcha. Both. Okay. No, that's the statue. That's not it. Um, I need probably a... What does this one say? Oh, probably, yeah. Here we go. This is the one I wanted. I'll stop and start again. Okay, probably, yeah. And this is the Shrine of Athena as well. And I'll see if I can get close enough so you can read this. Pause if you need to. And you can see what it used to look like in the day. Pretty amazing. Very cool. All right, moving on. OK, 
Okay, well, let's start by reading it first, huh? So that's this structure here. And obviously there used to be so four marble, four columns in the front, four columns in the back. Um, and it's not very big. They said it was, oh, so three meters. So maybe what, 10 yeah. feet by so eight feet. And I guess the statue of Athena was in there. Anyway, you can read it. I'll stop yakking. Pause as you need to. Okay. Early Temple of Athena and Echo was wooden cult statue. Hmm. And remains an earlier shrine of the Purnus. Okay. Cool. And this is what it looks like on top. Let me see if I can get a better picture of it for you. So it wasn't very deep, it was just a little wider. Pretty neat, huh? I'm gonna go over there and see if I can get another picture of it from the other side, just to see if I can get an extra picture. Okay, moving on, bye. And that's the temple from this side, from the entrance. Let me go over here and see if I can get another picture of it. And that's it right there. It's really beautiful actually. you can see at night and from the day and even from the ground and everything else very cool all right everybody i'm going on to the next one okay so this is the sanctuary of artemis and it's kind of like a triangular shaped building you can see where the fences go that this used to be part of it um, and there's really not much to this one but let's go let's go read the plaque here don't look at that we'll get there <laughs> So this is the sanctuary after passing through the Papalia, the sanctuary of Artemis Baronia, the so-called uh, Baronian. Lies to the right. Sorry about the wind. You believe that the cult Artemis um, was established in the Acropolis 6th century BC. The architecture of the sanctuary. Huh. Okay. Attached to the east side, the sanctuary of Artemis lies the foundation of. Huh. So I think that's this thing. Let's go up a little higher and see if we get a better view of it. So I, I, I guess I'm, it's, it's just this. <laughs> um, or maybe up there there's a hole I see. So let's go look up there too. to this one it's got a huge column or a base for a column huh. okay the sanctuary of artemis baronia now <laughs> baronia now Bruna. whatever that's it okay moving on okay, 
So Artemis we did, that's four, but this one is Chacoteki. And this is Chacoteki here, and it says this about it. And we kind of covered this earlier. But it's really pretty big, 43 meters long, so 150 feet. Let's go over and look at it, shall we? I'll tease you with uh, more buildings. <laughs> And you know, look at the ground. Just so you know, if you're um, not sure-footed, have a wheelchair, it might be a real struggle to get up and around here. I've seen two people fall already. Um, and it's just, I mean, these rocks are rough and heinous. And so, uh, something very, to, very uh, to be aware of. Okay, so this is Chacoteki, I think. Uh, I have a, this one is Chacoteki. It's what? Chakateki? Chakateki? I, I don't understand. Number five. Uh, this one. Uh, Chakateki? What is that word? I honestly don't know. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Um... This is the pamphlet. <laughs> and you can see the picture of it right here. Yes. Right there. Five. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have a picture of it, but... Yes, well, it is that, but I've never seen that word before. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, shot <Shot-teki>. Becky. <laughs> and the uh, person that watches the place doesn't know what it is. But anyway, I didn't want to skip it. It's number five on the list that they hand you when you walk in the gate. Okay. That's it, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, so this right here in front of us is supposed to be the base um, of the statue um, and so that's the temple we've already done which is the Poseidon or whatever the Dion, Pos Posteon. sorry about that wind and then the temple of Oresion and then the temple of Athena and this is the base to Athena and so here's what the thing says about it and it says the statue of Athena and it's funny know that, that her uh, she's pro macho so we're down with that um, and here's what it used to look like and then here's what the temple behind it is and that's that one the big one over there and then this base is that base right there you see that that base and then this is the information of it. let's take a look As always, pause as you need to. Okay, and then so this, so this is why I say the base, right? The remains of the base of the statue of Athena Pro Macho. Pro Macho. <laughs> I know, I know. And this was it. Pretty amazing. All right. Moving on. We got more to do. Okay, so this is the Pendrosion, right? And what's interesting about this is, is that um, if you look at the pictures, nine is here, eight is here. But if you look at my little map here, right? This is the one I'm going off of. There's eight, nine, and 10. Right there, all in a little cluster. Eight is Pendrosian, which is where I'm at now. Nine is Erechtheon, which is what I just did just a second ago, which is the same building. And then 10 is the old temple of Athena. Um, and that's the same, they're all the exact same building. Um, and that's what the lady said, because I, I circled this thing like four times trying to find the right place. But so this is like, and I think the way they did it is like one temple is over here, the temple of Athena, and this is the temple of Pandrosian, and this is the temple of Erection, or maybe that's Pandrosian, and this is Erection. Um, anyway, phew, it's all kind of confusing. Well, here's the information on it. So. And I'll try not to fall off the rocks. And I'll let you read. 
were the oldest sacred spots of Athenians. So this is like the oldest spot, I guess. Um, we talked about that. The sacred olive tree of Athena was enclosed in the sanctuary of Pandrosa. No, 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 no. So maybe this is like the ruins of it, but that's the sacred olive tree. And they said that that was given to the Athenians by Athena. Is that what this says too? Um, so gonna... It doesn't say that, but that's what the lady just told me. <laughs> um, the contest between goddess Athena and Poseidon over the patronage of the city with the olive tree behind the gods from the central part of the sculpture decoration was pediment of the Parthenon. Parthenon. Huh, okay. And so this is what it used to look like, right? So that little window right here is that little window right behind the tree. See that one? And so that's the sacred olive tree and it looks like it was enclosed so there must have been a, a wall here or something and maybe another hunt, hunt here so how things change and you can see this too if it helps you very cool but again i think it's uh three temples <laughs> one building Orektheon, Pandaronian, or whatever it's called, um, Pen Pandrosion, and then the um, Old Temple of Athena. So, and I have one more to do, which I think is going to talk about the Cryads or Cryads or whatever they're called. Anyway, <laughs> this is number eight. Okay. It's very cool. I guess I should do this side, just in case you skip the Eurasion and don't get this side. At least you'll get it this way. Pretty amazing, huh? Okay. Go to the other side. Bye. Okay, this is Erechtheon. And there's a line over to the placard, so we'll have to wait a second. But they said that, or the lady said, this is where it all started. That this is uh, like the first one that was built here or something, but I don't, I don't have any idea. But it's pretty amazing. Wow, I like how in intact it is. Wow. Let me back up and I'll zoom out to give you a regular perspective. You know, the zoom out thing is really nice, but sometimes it kind of skews the, the vision. So that's really what we're looking at here. crazy. What does this say? See? Erection. Ere Erection. Um, man, I can't even... Can you read that? Started being restored in 1979, 87. And the west face, south face, Done. I can go look over there now. And that's the triads or something, I think, if I remember right. Okay, so this is erection. And then here's what it says. And these are the 
ladies that were taken. The cryads, caryads, caryids. That's what those ladies are right there. And that's the caryad. But I think there's another placard over there for that. So we'll get there in a second. So now that you've seen this, and this is number number eight. Okay. Let's go down the stairs. I'll go around you. I'll be back. And this is the other side of it. And I think if I was here last time, I thought I could get inside because I think there's a statue inside, but I don't know for sure. Let's go. Let's go look and see what we see. Okay, that's Erection, Erection, Theon, whatever. That's that place. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, so this is the Temple of Athena. And so I think it's all in ruins right here. You know, you see all the stuff on the ground. So this was like the foundation of it, I guess, at one point. Um, but I think the things that are special about this are those statues of the ladies. Cryads, caryads. I'll show you the information on it, but uh, I think they're pretty famous. I think they've been taken down, or the originals were taken down and put in a museum somewhere or something. But uh, I'll look at the placard and tell you. Now, this temple of Athena is connected to the other two temples. I think this one here is the Erechtheion, Erechtheion, or whatever it's called, and then the other side of it is the Poseidon one, the P Pandarosian, Pandarosian one. So let's go look at the, um, the placard. So this is, so this is how it used to look. So these are the statues right here that we see. And then this is the ground. Well, that's not how it used to look. But that's how it looks, I guess, today. Um, and this is what it looked like on the ground. So it too would have columns. Everything had columns. And then inside was the temple. So I'll let you read the text there. And there too. And then here's some more text for you. I'll try to get a little closer to those statues because I know that I've seen them in books and talked about them. I think there's a storm coming in. But... So again, this is our temple, Athena's. one of them is different or represents something else or something I don't know I you know not being the 
<laughs> the person, but they all, and they're all left leg, well, so these two on the right, I think their right leg is sticking out, and the two on the left, their left leg is sticking out. Uh, do they have the same hair? I don't know. Same dresses? Huh, I don't know. Okay. Anyway, everybody, that's that. Let me zoom out. And again, I think the best part about this is uh, this temple in the front. But again, all three temples are share the same same spot, I guess. So, um, so that's pretty amazing. But as far as those ladies go, sorry about the wind. I try to cover my mic. The ladies are. Karyatid, Karyatid, the five original statues of the Karyatid Michael. Okay, can you read that? Sometimes my phone doesn't focus in weird light. So anyway, okay, moving on. Can you just say wow? How about amazing? Look at the guy up in the corner. and so vast. Can you imagine if it was full of columns? Yeah, the whole thing was roofed. The whole thing had tons of columns inside. As soon as those people leave, I'll go look at the information placard on it. Get it from the other side too. But there's a line. I'll be right back. All right. This is this is what it would look like. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it so you can read them. Let's go look around the other side, shall we? Jeez. 
huge. I'll go over here. Sorry, I gotta watch my step. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Man, it's just amazing. Can you imagine this thing roofed and all that enclosed in the middle? Hi, yeah. There's another placard over there. Let me go over there and see if it has more information. So the front here, there'd be a row of columns here, and this was the entrance. I, and this is me just speculating. And then there's this row here. So this is how you'd enter. This is the only way to enter. And then around the edge, you could walk around the edge, but there was like walls. You can see the walls inside there. Um, so the whole thing was enclosed. And so, <clears throat> let's see if this thing says anything about it. At least they had a representation of what it would look like. So, just so you know, so that's the front, that's where you enter. And there's a second row of columns, so it was like a, a porch maybe. And then you can see these walls over on this side and over here, kind of. Um, and so that's where it would be enclosed at. And this is them working on it. You can see, here's a good example. So you can see how it'd be enclosed on the inside of it. So maybe the porch ran all the way around it. You know what I mean? Um, and the inside was a building. And you can see the backside. You can see how it's almost done up there. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you. And so you can see that the building was on the inside. So let me get this so you can read this too. Correct misplacement of the previous inver intervention. Eight column, a center column in the correct way. Seals Wall, 2011. The aim of the restoration of Seals Wall. So that must be Celia's Wall. And I guess this is what Celia's Wall looked like. And they're restoring that. So that tells you how big it was inside. Can you even imagine? I just can't even imagine. Let's see if we can go get a better look at Celia's wall. See the crane inside and they're working on it. I wonder if they're going to restore all of it because it looks like there's fresh block up there too. You see what I mean? So maybe they're going to maybe they're going to redo the whole inner structure. Wow. Huh. Well, you can see how big the porch is from here. Wow. All right, everybody. That's the part that I'm just simply crazy. You can see how big the columns are compared to the guys. Thanks for coming along, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is the Temple of Roman Augustus. And this is what it used to look like. Huh. 
Portrait Statue of Actinus Augustus. Here's what it says about it. You can pause as you need to. This is kind of like what it would look like. But this is it. So I think it is round. I mean, this makes it look square, but it's round. And this is the base of it. I'm gonna zoom out of here. All right. So you can see just how big it was. It has words on the sides and it has the Parthenon right behind it. better to see from up here because you can get above it. But... I'm gonna slide right by you. And that's it. And these are all the columns to it, I guess. <laughs> anyway, it'd be neat to see it put back together again, wouldn't it? All the king's men and all the king's soldiers. Anyway. <laughs> Bye, everybody. All right, this is the viewing platform. And you can see the Acropolis from here. Let's go up on top and see. There's quite a few people. Look. I don't know what that says. thing too. right here. See that? Right there, is that right? Yes. And then Hadrian's Wall is the one right in front of it. Right down that street, Hadrian's Wall. And all the marvelous Parthenon and stuff. Very cool. <laughs> Everybody takes a picture right in front of it. So. And the crane's actually moving. First time I've seen the crane moving. Very cool. Oh. Hi, right, everybody. That's it. Bye-bye. I brought a yogurt with me, and it's the honey kind, and I'm going to dip my yogurt or turn my cup over. I think that's what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> turn it over. I think that's right. Oh, can I hold it? I can probably hold it. Anyway, this is the Acropolis. That's the Parthenon though. But this whole place is the Acropolis. And so uh, we're just gonna take a time out. <laughs> now my yogurt has honey on top and, uh, and I figured we could share it together. And it's just amazing. You know, and I just feel so lucky that I get the chance to come and see these places and experience these places and the clouds are outstanding and white and puffy, and it just really is perfect. And what's the word that Eric always uses? 
It's just amazing. Very cool. That's it. It's an easy one. Bye, everybody.